It's been a long time since I've been in here. Your dad really left his mark on your family's kitchen. All this weird machinery looks like what Liz described as steam crunch, I think. Yeah, a lot of trial and error went into these renovations since he used old abomination parts. Mom was furious when the appliances would attack her. Ed, Em, and I got a good laugh out of that, though. Are you sure this part is necessary? I know it's an important part of the aesthetic, but I'm sure Luz would understand if you left it out. <laughs> no doubt she would, but when it comes to Luz, I can't bring myself to accept any half measures. I don't know how long this might take, but my parents will be back for a few days. You can hang out here for a while if you want. Thanks, but I have wire derby practice in the morning, and it's already getting late. It's okay. Thanks for all your help, and for your company. I really appreciate it. No problem, and thank you for the cute new threads. The next morning. Hold me! What? Oh, it's you. You scared me for a second there. So you want me to get you know who and tell her that you... Ah, well, I'm up, I'm up. Ugh, seriously, Hootie, it's 7 a.m., which is way too late in the evening for all this noise. This better be worth it. Hmm? Hola, Helada, I made something for you. Luz, you've got company. Morning. Can't even enjoy a nice apple blood bender for Titan's sake. Hola, Helada. Amity. I made something for you. I was so worried. You said you'd come by with a surprise last night, but you never showed up. Yeah, sorry about that. This took longer to make than I anticipated. Oh, okay. So, not to bury the letter or anything, but I had to ask, uh, well... Don't worry. This recipe is 100% insect-free. It's also 100% arachnid-free for good measure. <laughs> yeah, I should have been more upfront about my allergies to bugs the other day. No worries, we live and learn. Now then, feast your eyes on this. No way! You actually made SpaghettiOs? Well, with some help and the freshest vegetables, courtesy of Willow. Why don't you have a taste? Mmm! Oh, good, Emily! They're better than a real shrub! Hmm, thanks. Someday, you'll have to tell me how humans can mass-produce these without staying up all night. Actually, how did you put all this together? Wait a minute. Did you tie these into O's yourself? No wonder it took you all night to make this. Amity? Mm, zzz. Zzz. Mwah! Aw, you crazy little tater. You're way too good to me. Mm, the way you put it, exorcists here sound like exterminators in the human realm. Yeah, but these guys suck at their jobs, so that wouldn't explain what happened to the school spirits. Maybe they're all possessed students? I noticed that Bosha was unusually mellow today. Bueno tardes, Magdalena. Hola, mi batata. Where have you been just now? Oh, I was just preparing a special human realm recipe I stumbled across the other day. So, prepare your taste pores for the human delicacy known as Ecto Cooler. Who are you gonna call? Uh, huh? Is... isn't it a famous drink in the human realm? This magazine Gus lent me indicated it's quite popular. Amity, this magazine was made way back in 1989. It's practically a century old. Sorry, Em, I could have sworn this was the issue number. Well, I for one would love to try your drink, no matter how outdated it might be. Yeah! <laughs> here's to my amazing human. And here's to my candy, Ams. Ding! Mmm, <laughs> this is great, Ams! Sweet, citrusy, and a slightly sour aftertaste. You sure you weren't a barista in a former life? Hey, Amity, by any chance would the Ecto and Ecto Cooler be short for ectoplasm? Oh, that is kind of a big concern now that you mention it. Huh? I mean, it is, but why would that be concerning? It's just that we were talking about the missing school spirits, and then you come out here with a ghost themed drink. <laughs> Amity, please tell me you didn't put real life ghosts in a blender or juicer to make this! <laughs> of course not, Luz. Don't be silly. <gasps> oh, avenge me. There's no such thing as a live ghost. 